live yet again. But I'm back. Are we live? I think we're live. I don't know if we're live or not. Oh, anyway. Yeah, it normally, well, oh, there it is, live, three minutes, okay. Wasn't sure. Okay, glasses off so I can not see what I'm doing. So we went ahead, we got that one lubed, that'll be fine, we're working on this. Because we unfortunately do have to have the motor mount out of the way. I've been tightening it, yep, because the bolt has moved in the opposite direction. Sometimes that happens. I'm not even doing anything. I know. Nothing else online. I don't know how to do this on this car. Yeah, because it doesn't exist. Yeah. So you think, huh? At least that's what it seems like. Which, honestly, I can see. I can see why the Miata took better than this thing did. Yeah. And the only reason is because the engine placement. I'd have to say you're probably right on that account. Because it is literally almost the exact same as the Miata. Well, it's the same engine, just mounted 90 degree opposite. Mm -hmm. And the Miata is one of the most recognizable cars on the street scene. Correct. If not the most recognizable kind of car. The joy about this thing. Just you get literally like an eighth of a turn, and then you gotta flip the wrench completely around. Do you have a ratchet? I do, but there's no access for the ratchet because of the um, strut wall. Is this why you love unibodies, right? No, this is why I love sideways on engines. <laughs> yeah. The unibody doesn't bother me at all. The Cherokee we had was a unibody. That thing was awesome. This is why I love sideways mount engines. It's also why unless it's an anywhere car, they're dying. Yeah. Well, the, the cars themselves aren't dying. The sideways yeah. mount engine. But people just don't wrench on them anymore. Yeah, I'm meaning other than unless they're in like a fancy car, you never see them on the street scene anymore except for cities. Yeah. And that's only because they're cheap. Yeah. And anybody that wants one can have one for less than a thousand dollars. Yeah. Seems like people are practically giving them away. Yeah. Okay, I think we're finally, yep, we are. Finally loose. Give you this nut. There's that nut. Make sure there's no washer. I'll put it right back in. Thread it on. Doesn't have to be perfect. Looks like they painted it. That works. Like they give you some no, this is a rubber soccer. The rubber bushing. That is okay. older than I am. Yep. So if you want to, you can stick it back on there. Now we've got so much more room now, guys. 
Tons of room. Check that out. Oh, you can actually see the water pump right there. Still got to get this thing off. So that's a joke. Oh, we have more room. We have way more room. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these back on here. This is just a personal preference thing, guys. Um, it's not required. I just, if I put them on there, I don't lose them. And I know where they go. You don't got to tighten them down either. Just get them on there somewhere. Get you down in here. Okay, so. Are we going to have to retime her and everything? No, I already put everything in time. No, I'm saying, are we going to have to do the belt again and, and the little grenade thing again? Oh, we have to lose it, yeah. Or loosen it, yes. We have to do all that again. It's gonna be this one. Hopefully that PB last has had time to get in there. And of course, can't use an extension on it. No, that'd be just too easy. You know what I can do though? Jack two on it. Huh? Stone jack or two? How you're gonna push off the laptop? Sitting on your yep. I hate how good this stuff works when it is, man. See how fast it moved? You know, don't count your chicken before the hatch. No, I'm just saying. It's crazy how fast it went from you, you quarter at a time to when, it's, when it was tight. You know what I mean? Right? Yep, I do. Okay. Actually, I want to hand me a. A uh, 14 millimeter box end wrench. Try to do it with the box wrench and see if that's all right. The grenade TJ was talking about was the the tension I told you guys about earlier in the video. That thing is just all kinds of scary. Taking your brother to the bus stop. I looked at Gordon's. I was like, that would be the place that we would go to if we can't get this done. Yeah. That would be the place that we would go and say, hey, got it halfway apart, but I'm stuck here. What are you charging me to finish it? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't know. They have so many cars out there just sitting there that I haven't moved in years, literally. Yep. But when I walked by the other day, they are constantly moving cars in and out of their shop, though. Are they? Yep. Is she getting rid of this Nope. I think someone put thread lock on it. No, she's coming out. Oh, yeah, she's coming out. So I yeah. Oh, I noticed I got a really good sunburn. Oh, yep. My shirt. This is this difficult. I'm wondering if the other side has anything to do with it. Would she be stripped? No. 
if it was stripped, it'd come out real easy. It'd just sit there and spin, and it's not just sitting and spinning. It's coming out slowly. But then again, I am doing like one-tenth of an inch turns. And that's not going to change anything. Yeah, the funny thing, the guy that designed this car hated his mechanics. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. The designers aren't mechanics. The designers are like, okay... We gotta get this to do this. Excuse me. And it looks really, really cool. And then, well, just have them put whatever engine they want. Yep. And another guy that's the engineer of it all said, okay, well, we can make this fit and then plan it out. And then the mechanics are going, I hate all of you. Yeah, exactly right. Oh, Union City, California. Hello? Uh, he's not in right now. I can take a message. person that doesn't speak English very more telling me that I qualify for Xfinity Mobile. The problem being is Xfinity Mobile will not pay off. My wife's done and on her way home. That was fast. Oh, actually not really. It's 1230. Okay. Back to this. So this is one of the joys about doing this. Is you got like one tenth of an inch turn. You know what would be nice though? What's that? That little impact that that guy had when he took off his turd when he blew the thing. Yeah. Uh, yep, exactly. That would be great to have. Battery powered impact gun. Or even... Do I have a 14 millimeter ratchet wrench over there? Oh, I'm sorry, that'd be in my toolbox still. Bottom. If I have a ratchet, man, that'd be way faster. Of course, I say that now as it's loosening up. And then metric or standard. Okay, so I should have a. Okay, yep, I don't. Uh, well, 13 millimeters a half inch. This is a 14. So. We can just grab a hold of it. annoying but it keeps them together it works enough No, it's, it's 
is not angled like these are. Oh, okay. So it doesn't. It's being ornery. Man, if I had the money, I'd just pull this. Just say pull it, screw it, and then do a 2J spot. Yeah. But then again, I don't know if a 2J would fit. Okay, well, it fit. The training wouldn't, but it fit. Yeah. But then again, I don't have. Twenty grand to drop on an engine. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Bring it back. So, what other pulleys and everything were you saying I have to replace? This one right here. Okay, that's just okay. That's not too bad, though, is it? I don't think so. over with Lucas at the bus stop that Evo fired up and pulled out she said that it actually rumbled the uh, the classroom she was cleaning so she went out and it was the Evie, Evo she's like I was sitting there cleaning and I heard this just deep rumble so went out to look and Evo was fired up and so she let me listen to it while I was leaving it sounds like that Subi, that blue one. Yeah. Oh, so nice. Is she coming out at all? Yeah, she's coming out. And she's getting looser, too. It's just being on her because it can be on her. You know how it is. This is one of the problems. Not having the toolbox we used to have when we had the shop. Having the tools we used to have in the other shop. Yeah. The equipment. Yep. We're gonna be in here with an air ratchet. Sitting right here to pull while it spun it out. You can literally probably, probably have a dub I have. I would have been done this part. Well, well no, I'm meaning like a lot of it. Yeah. But then again, we also have an engine mount, so all we gotta do is pull engine mounts in there. <laughs> that was a little on the weird side. See if I can get it again. No, it's uh coming back up. <laughs> coming back up to be cranked again. That's funny. And it's come up. And just... And I'm not doing this, guys. That is just too funny. <laughs> okay, enough of the fun. Hey, you, how's it going, brother? Yeah, that was kind of weird, huh? I think that was just, it happened to be the right, the right just amount of pressure. We discovered it because I dropped my wrench. And it went dink on the edge of the jack handle. And it just started doing it. So, of course, you know, you got to play for a little bit. And, yes, this is finally coming out. And, of course, you know it's got to be one of those ones that's a mile and a half long, right? bad thing is that even at full top to full bottom I don't even get a half of a, a spin on it because they're running this other pulley down here power steering pulley yeah. and then at the top I can't go any farther because of the
Yeah, I think it probably is leaking past the seal. Because, well, it either is or it isn't. Because when I get under here, the water pump spins. But I don't... He's talking about the jack, probably. Oh, the jack? Oh, maybe. If you're talking about the jack, my boy said that. I don't know, I'm just a little out of it, sorry. It's all good. What best to chalk under the car? Oh, I've got a... Uh, I'll show you what I've got, just because I am a little slow but not stupid. I don't know if you can see it under there. I've got this jack locked, I've got this jack, which is a twist, so it can't leak hydraulic otherwise, and I've got that supporting the engine. And then I just occasionally do that, just to make sure she's tight. And back into here. So yeah, I've learned that a long time ago. We actually had a we had a shop in Idaho. My father-in-law was a master mechanic for a union in San Francisco. He helped build not the Golden Gate, but the Bay Bridge, San Francisco Bay Bridge. And so the he, airport there too. Yeah, and the humongous airport. Yep, exactly right. All right. She's not stripped, she's just dirty. This would be top. Top motor mount? Top left side motor mount, correct. That doesn't tell me anything. Okay, so the, the bolt we have now is the bottom. That goes above it. Okay, so we have one left. I hope I don't gotta pull that to do it because I don't wanna do that. Might have to cheater bar it. BFH, or not BFH, I don't have one of those. BFPs. There we go. That sounded really bad at first. <laughs> it scared you a bit, didn't it? Well, you don't have a replacement block, so. No. Time it makes a scary noise like that is not good, you know? I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> That's funny. No, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It might be. No, it's just, it's spinning. I just, this is all the room I can move. Uh, it's coming loose. I thought you were saying she isn't, she's like, loose loose, so. No. No, that, that creak you heard, was it? No, well, no, oh, I know that, I'm just saying. From the way you were spinning so fast, someone's calling me. Say, man, your, I bet it's probably your extended warranty on this car, huh? Mm -hmm. It would have been nice to know that a couple hours ago. Well, we could have stopped doing that. We could take it in, get this fixed because of your warranty. Oh, wait, this is a 92, and it's not technically in your name yet because we're still waiting on the guy to find the title. Which I need to actually message him. Let me get this motor mount out and then message him, see if he's gone to the DMV yet. Or DOL is what they call it here. I know all you can see is my arm. I'm sorry about that, guys. But there's really not any other visual location for it yet. Turbos from those buses and throw it on here. <laughs> It'd be like that that car over by Susan's house. Toy 80s Toyota Corolla, four door, and the hood pulled off, and where your battery is is where the uh, turbo sits, but about a foot higher than the top of the battery. Hey, well, it works, man. I guess. Oh, hand cramp. That's from doing that whip yesterday. No, working on that whip. Four hour. Didn't know you were working on that. Yeah. Working on another paracord bull whip. Got almost the entire outside 
12 spring plate. Okay, you can stick those back in if you want and just leave that on the bench. Okay, so. There's the water pump right here. This is where the motor mount was. That was that bolt I just took out right over here. The one that gave us really hard time and the easy one. So, there it is. And I think I know exactly where it was leaking from. Move this up out of the way. Um, one light bulb. Shed the light on the situation. Oh, I see it right on top. I think it's leaking right out of that. It's leading out of the hole? Yep. Oh, okay, so it's not going to be... Okay, we just pull this, yeah. We don't? We don't? Yeah, we do. Um... Yeah, we do. We gotta pull that mount. Yep. But that's... Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. You want me to bring it over? Yeah. Get you guys centered on that motor mount. I'm sorry. Water pump. Whoa. Okay, so... Ouch. No, we don't have to pull that. I can so see the water leaking out of it. No, we have to pull the grenade, okay. unfortunately. But we won't have to pull this. But we don't have to pull that, yep. Which Even though we probably me should, but... Well, I mean, we don't have the parts to replace it. There's no, no reason to pull it. But look at the water leaking out of that bolt hole. This one right here? I mean, that means to be the this lower. gasket. Yep, that one. That means, yeah, that one right there. So that would be, be this gasket. Yep, that's where the gasket's leaking right here. Nice. Okay. So, time to pull the grenade and pull the rest of the bolts. Yep, we gotta pull the grenade, which is this thing right here. What's cool, though, is I like the how you can tell the difference between OEM and not. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so, let's go bye-bye. This one's shiny. Yeah. That one is not. Yep. Okay, I need to drink coffee right quick. Excuse me. Should be cool enough now. Mm. No. Nope, still hot. Okay, so move this. Now I get a little bit more light in here. You know. You're an Get your game on and go play. Alright. So, what I think we'll actually do. Since we gotta pull the grenade from below, set this up. Rectify some light on this here situation. And of course, it's not gonna go down any further. Hold these. You know, guys, I'm going through all kinds of stuff to get you. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You gotta Tombstone do it regardless. Huh? Tombstone said something. Hey, Tombstone, how's it going, brother? This is, a uh, funness. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can. This hole right here. We need a pointer. Yep. Screwdriver? There you go. A leaking water pump in a boy's car. And is this right here. You can see the water popping right out of it. We finally just got this motor mount off. <sighs> so, I gotta go underneath and pull what we call the grenade. This is scary. Oh yeah, it's real scary. Don't see. Yep, so I'm gonna get under here. And, do you remember what size? I think that was a... Uh, 12, I think? Oh wait, Dad. What? It's helicoil, remember? Yeah, we can pull that off. We pull the bottom one first. And then, as soon as you break any kind of tension, it'll spin. No, that's not, that's not what I'm saying. What? what I'm saying is that we're going to have to strip it and do it again. No. We're not going to have to tap no. it and do it again? No, I'll have to tap it and do it again. Okay. Nope. What size? Um, I believe it's a 12 millimeter. I wonder... I wonder if I should just do it from up top here. Accessible. 
amazing when you pull <laughs> everything out that you can. So, I know my hand's right in the middle of your guys' road. You probably can't see real well. This is what we call the grenade. A little metal tube filled with hydraulic oil that is very pressurized. Yes. Grab some string and pull that bolt out, you know. <laughs> so it, huh? we, we shouldn't have to redo it again for this The heel collar should be fine. The fun part is, is that you guys can see better than I can. I literally have two pieces of metal that are at least a millimeter thick in between me and whatever it is I'm going after. The only reason I know I'm on the right bolt is because we did this, what, like three weeks ago? <laughs> yeah. We have the know-how on how to remove this tensioner thingy. Okay, so here comes the bottom bolt. Comes the scary part. Yep, did it move? No. So now she will move if we touch her. Yep. So I gotta loosen this top bolt. I think I'm on it, right? Yeah, I'd wash your fingers. Oh, yeah, I'm real careful, like. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shouldn't we get it to come loose before you move, before you do it? Well, that's that's what I'm doing right now is I'm loosening it because then this bottom here, can you see? Yeah. This I, bottom I here see it on there. will shoot that way. This will come out just a little bit farther. Wash your fingers, and, man. And not explode on this. Yep, I'm just trying to find the bolt again. Up, right there. This right here. Hold on. So for a second. I'm not doing anything. Okay, I just hit that. It's gonna be right in there. It should be. Hold on. Feels like it. Nothing, can we? Oh, let's see. That's the right one. Yep, that's the right one. Okay. Is the peephole plugged? No, the peephole. <laughs> peephole. <laughs> the peephole is not plugged. It's still on the bench by the heel coil kit. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Well, I'm just letting you know where it's at for when we're done. Yeah. Completely replaced. You don't know where it's at. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. Dad, what? wash your fingers. Remember, it exploded backwards. Yeah. We got the entire thing out before it even detensioned. Yeah. so hard to reach anything in there. So. I'll try using just the extension. Say, be careful with your fingers because that'll easily break them. 
Yep. It's under quite a bit of tension right now. Remember when we did this before? Except it was just the bolt and not the extension. Yeah. So much fun that was getting that out. Be fun. I got it. Also got a whole bunch of aluminum shavings from when we uh, yellow called it. You gotta go up higher. Yep. I'm just trying to get hands up in. Turn to the left. Top toward the rear. See what you mean by it. It's scary, dude. <laughs> She's loose. Alright. She's out, Dad. Yep. Okay. Grenade okay. has been removed. Now I'm gonna detention her just in case. Screwdriver time. Yep. that you can take the other bolt put that over on the bench how come it didn't do the thing we did last time i think because this time we were prepared for it last time we're like well we're pulling it yep okay so this is where before we do anything we check make sure we're in time there is crank timed crank is timed No, he just sees us out here doing this. Cam, rear cam is timed. First Front time. cam is timed. So let's move. It's over there. He is doing that just because we've got a, a rice burner that we're working on. Okay, before I remove anything, I just want to make sure everything looks copacetic. Yes. Okay. Pulling that, I guess, right? Whoa, there we go. So yeah, you can tell she's loose. Yep. No longer L scary. Yep. Well, it still is kind of scary a little bit. Okay, so we don't need, my, my, my thing, we don't have to pull any of this stuff up here. Nope. We just need to pull these bolts and it should just go like that. Oh, you're good, dude. You're good. Yep, we just have to pull the time belt off simply so it doesn't get caught up. I might not even have to pull it off completely. Oh, yeah. Just put it behind the tensioner. That's what I'm trying to do. Man, these earrings get cold. My ears are getting cold, dude. <sighs> That's just because you're not used to wearing earrings yet. It's getting cold at least. I'll wait till you go back to Idaho one of these years. Middle of winter, it's 40 below. Okay, so I need this. You know what size for the work? I'm gonna try to guess right here at this one. This is a 10, I doubt it. I think it's a 12. Yeah, it's a 12. You want to it? It? Yeah, probably. Okay, where are you gonna stop? Start with number one up top. Yep, it is a 10, 12. No, it's that one truck that plays the patriotic music all the time. Oh, super, super loud. Yep. Could have been real bad. You know, man, we need to start doing this camera thing more. Look at this. Look at the view we have. I'm telling you, man. Oh, somebody wrote a book. Hey, most amount of cards, hard to access the engine parts. Like, oh. Well, it's that Ford. Yeah, you're right, Yuke. It's, uh. Yeah. I'd love to have an old original, like, 50s or 60s, I don't know, Chevy, like a 57 Chevy Bel Air, or hardtop, two-door coupe, oh, that would be awesome. I mean, the hood on the 57 Chevy Bel Air, you could lay under there with the engine in it. Yeah. I need a 12 millimeter box wrench. This, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this bolt tried to strip out on me. I don't have a six point of sockets. If you look. It might be over there, that's the time. I don't want to focus guys. Anyway, this is a 12 point socket, which means it's a lot easier to get on. That's a 10. 12's gotta be on there somewhere. Um they have a tendency to strip things out sometimes, so. 
it, sir. You don't have to keep tying that and tying it back if you don't want to. Yeah. Okay, so we're on there. Take out the helper wrench again. There we go. Top bolt is coming loose. You know, there's one thing I figured out from all the years of all the different garages I've been in and all the stuff we've owned. Yeah. You can tell if stuff's getting done by the amount of language being said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so water pump, this is top center bolt. Directly above. Directly above the. So I'm going to yeah. set them in the water pump. That's so, fine, yep. Because the rest of them, I'll just keep doing the thing. Really okay, so I'm just doing an inspection. That one's good. Okay, so bolt number one for a water pump is off. Next one, that is, n how are you supposed to access that? Dude, you're not going to like it, but we got to pull this idler pulley, tensioner pulley. Which one? This one. Because look, I can't even get onto this bolt at all. And with this here, I won't be able to get a socket on it either. Hmm. You can look in that for a little bit easier on the screen. Yeah. And you can't do what? The water pump's there? No, this other pulley's in the way. Yeah. That's a bolt for the, the pump, so. We're pulling her, I guess. Or let's just pull the other ones first, you know. Um, well, this could be one of the reasons why this belt, or this pulley is shot. I literally... Yeah, I watched you do it. It wiggles. I mean, that's not right. Well, I mean, most of the time, if it's an engine part, it's supposed to be tight. Usually. Yeah. Usually. What was that? Is that your phone? Yeah. Okay. You want to get after it? Um, I thought you were just going to try to finger loose in your mark. Yeah. That didn't work. Sorry guys, this is supposed to be a tutorial. <laughs> yeah, I'm the wrong person to be teaching. Not really sure what this thing is, but this thing keeps on jabbing right in the thumbnail. The engine mount. It's for the engine mount. No, this part though. The engine mounted up here in these big holes. This thing right here. I don't know the purpose of it. Unless it's just there to cause pain and agony. I mean, people over there in uh, 92 in Japan, when they designed this car, knew what it did. Oh, that's true, that's true. Okay, the bottom mount looks like it's right there. Okay, you want to finish fingering that one out while I get this in there? At least it looks like it's going to be semi-easy-ish to do. Whoop. Ha! Look how long it is. Holy cow. That must be going into the transmission, huh? Just a little insight. <laughs> yeah. She's a... She's a bit long. Yep. Alright. I have... I gotta hold it. She's coming off. Yeah, right now it's just, just barely loose. Is that 12 on the socket still? Yeah. Too, huh? Not that bad. You're clear. It's gonna have to go down. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that is supposed to spin. And that's the bottom bolt. There might.
might be a way we can fix this. Yep, very possible. All right, all right. Oh, I know why I don't spin. Oh, well, that would probably be the, the last freaking dumb person that no, took this that apart. Actually, it would be me. <laughs> um, get on there with a 10 millimeter, push it back up. Did you? Did you do? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, but I did it because I needed to uh, to pull to pull the belt off. Oh, you're scaring me, trying to make me think I got to spend more money on my car. Well, I was trying to. Okay, so now I can reach this bolt a whole lot better now. Yep, 10 millimeter on that. Uh, I do. Socket right there. Wrench is right down there. Oh my god, right there. I'm just gonna use a wrench. That works. Back. You better not get me demonetized because you're a stupid radio. Hey, Dad. You know what? Look. She spins. Hey, she spins. That was funny. <laughs> Shut up, man. <sighs> Last vehicle was a Renault Master Motorhome 2.5 liter turbo diesel. Not enough room for a cigarette paper. Yeah. My bet, man. That's kind of like what this thing is like for me. Man, he, well, we're in Washington State, so they would, here, they would say, you can't even get a joint in there, man. Yeah. Marijuana is a huge thing in this, in this state. It, wasn't Washington one of the first to make it legal? No, uh, California Stan was. Or as I like to call it, no, for, for medical, Stan. I'm meaning recreational. Recreational? I Either don't know. Either this place or Colorado. These days, you connect a car to a laptop for service. Yeah, exactly. See, honestly, I would not be against having VTEC in this. Oh, yeah? The only reason I say that is because that means if I have VTEC in this, that means that I have at least enough money to have a aftermarket ECU in there. Yeah? All right, I understand VTEC's a bad thing. Oh, well, dude, you're the racing scene. I'm American muscle scene, so. We well, yeah, muscle scene. You want that pedal touches the engine kind of thing. Yeah, I don't want any wire crap except for the the hot, the cold, and the HEI distributor. That's, that's the thing though, JDM, they're, they, they thrive on that kind of oh, call shit. The turbo kits and everything else all run through the ECU, be able to turn it on and off with the switch. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't do this about 10 minutes ago, but hey, I like feeling, feeling the need to struggle. Quite some, by the way. Hey, Mom. Hello. Oh, there goes the phone. Oh, good thing for a case, right? Hey, baby. Hey, how difficult would it be to change a clutch in a slave cylinder in a truck? Oh, uh, what kind of truck? I don't know. Pretty. Um. The pull the tranny and everything else. Actually, it'd be a whole lot easier than what we're doing right now. Eh, I don't know. We need an we need an engine lift because you have to pull the engine and tranny off to replace the clutch. Yeah. Pull the rear drive shaft, or um, if it's, if it's four wheel drive, you pull the the transfer case, the front and rear drive shafts, so and everything will pop right back. So it, timing wise, it would be a day, day and a half. Okay. Someone at work has tried the clutch and whatever went out, uh -huh. and someone quoted uh, some shop somewhere quoted him quoted him nineteen hundred dollars to fix it. Yeah, that's probably normal. For labor, then, not for parts and stuff. Parts, um, the parts are going to be It's probably going to be included. The clutch is just, the, you'll get a whole whole new clutch with slave sender. That'd be about 300 bucks. Yeah, but the labor is what's the most. The labor, yeah, because it, it, it's a literally an all-day job. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yep, love you. This is far right. Far right. Front of engine, yes. I'm hoping I don't have to pull that pulley, but I think I might have to. Just them all right in the it's all good, dude. Yep, I'm not gonna break it free with that because one of these days I'll actually go and buy a six point socket set. Ooh, that was that, uh, Is that, that blue Subi? No. Oh, a little tea bucket looking thing. That would be like a 50s, maybe even a 
40s rig right there. Okay, so I gotta get in here underneath. Our water drippage is getting more. That's to be expected though, because we're pulling the pulling the fancy thing. The bad thing though is that when we when we loosened it the first time, it didn't change anything. Yep. Which means that the leak was kind of bad. Yep. We have two more bolts after this one, right? I'm not positive, but I can't see. Yeah, it's, it's correct. It's two. Okay. Um, yeah, only have two after this. You need a mini extension. How long is this compared to the extension? I know it's not meant for it, but it worked. It's shorter. Yeah, I don't think it's really the extension. I think it's more that this is a 12-point socket versus a 6-point, which would be, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 6. I, I know what it seems like. I'm just saying that it's shorter you're going to get it in there, you know. Yeah. I don't think it's really necessary that I can't reach it in there on this. That one wobbles too much. Not good for breaking. Good you, idea, though. You need one of these that are super stiff. Yep. Get out Yeah, pretty much. What's wrong with it? Oh, just the 12 point. Sometimes it likes to try to strip the bolts off. So. If you want to use the flap, yeah. <sighs> Actually, I'm going to save that hard one for the last. Just I'm going to go take some pain meds. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, love you. Okay. Oh, come on. Not ignoring, dude. Workshop turns into a garage. Yep, you're right. Oh, well then, have another. I'd say have one on me, but, yeah, you know. Oh, nope, it's going to freaking do it again, man. Oh, I hate sideways mount cars. If you didn't know already, if I haven't said it 37 and a half times, I'll say it 37 and a half more. Sideways mount car sucks. That's why I don't drive one. You can do it. Ugh. Whoa. And then about knocked you guys off the reservation there on that one. I don't think I got her. Either that or I just stripped her. I hope it didn't strip her. So I decided to cheat and work on the back one because it's just easier access. I know you can't see exactly where I'm at, but what hurt? So, I have ice in my water, right? Yep. And one piece was about, you know, about the size of like. Raspberry or something, right? Yep. Big, you know. Not something that you'd usually swallow. <laughs> Not normally. But I couldn't d differentiate between that and the pills. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I just had to swallow it in there. Swallow or roll. It's going to get stuck in my entire life. Yeah. I'm just like the ice well. turns into a garage. Yeah. You out of here, Tombstone? Are you grabbing a brew, too? I'm not a drinker anymore, so you guys will have to do that part for me. Because you know, a mechanic and a drinking, two things that shouldn't go together. They do, and always will. Yep, yeah, exactly, but they do, and always will. Okay, so this would be far rear. Is it far outside, or is that one already done? Um. Far rear. That will be the far left side of that pin, or that, correct. This one, 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 this
already having the part before we take stuff out. Please. Yep, I agree. Have the part before you start pulling stuff. I didn't even see that one down there. Have this part before you start pulling is a very good thing. Good call, TJ. You know, I've been thinking, because of the rarity of this car, I'm sure I'm going to be getting a ton of offers for it. Oh, yep. Once I can get it the condition that I want, man. Yep. You know, if someone was to offer me a uh, 1986 Toyota Sprinter Torino in white, then I might have to take it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Specifically well, because that's the 8086. It's just a, it's a, literally like an eighty thousand dollar car right now. But hey, you know, if, if somebody offered you an eighty thousand dollar car for an eight hundred dollar car, you know, well, I don't know about you, but I'd take it. Yeah. I think I'd even, if somebody offered me an R34 or an R32, I think I'd probably do it as well. The R32 is a really good. Look. Have you seen the R30, like the R31s and R30s? I probably they're have. More, they're more square cool. bodied. They're, they became. They're they're still Skylines, but they're the old yeah. ones, you know? The ones that nowadays, they're all either tin cans or drift cars, literally. Yeah. Mocha Porter. You were drinking one of them the other day, huh? That would be the bottom left under the pump. Bottom left. Last one's the stubborn one. Yep, last one's the stubborn one. We're almost done, guys, pulling. Looks like the car's running. Yeah. Okay. Bought me a Ferrari. Hey, you actually, he actually found a Ferrari the other day. Abandoned. Really? Yeah, an abandoned really? Ferrari. You will have to go onto his YouTube and look that up, though. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely be doing it. Did you break it? No. So all I've seen was one second it was here because the, like, the delay kind of thing. Yeah. Just a little bit. I seen it was there. Next thing you know, I seen it was there, and I was going, oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, you found a Ferrari the other day. Dang. I would ask which one, but I don't know anything about Ferraris, literally, except that they go fast. Whoa. Here, I'll, whoop. I'm going to take a minute break just for to call my back, Uke. I am going to show him your Ferrari that you found. All right? So I'm not leaving. I'm just using it on my phone. It's got to go to the YouTube. I'm not watching that right now. Get that out of there. Subscriptions. Yeah, I like your phone across your stomach because the water is bothering me. It's bothering you? All right. So I go to UK Moon. Come down here. Here we go. Abandoned Ferrari. Ready? Dude, <laughs> that looks really nice, man. You never know, man. I might have to take that. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, isn't it? I love it. I love it. You, you're so freaking hilarious. That's so great. Oh, okay, I'm back. He saw it. He had a big old doo-doo eating smile on his face, too. I think he wants to trade you, man. Can you imagine the horsepower that thing has? <laughs> Off the bat, you got two legs, you know? So what is that, like a one liter? <laughs> well, I guess it would really depend on how much you can take in. Yeah, and being true. as it's over in London, it's going to be a, uh, a pint size, maybe. I think that engine might be a one or two pinter, huh? I got her free. What, what, what was that? Remember that pink car that I showed you? Yes. That was on Mark Place? Mm hmm Yep. That was one of those but red. Slammed. Full body kit. And the hood had a scoop on it. Huh. Interesting. But it had a can. Which is stupid. Yeah. But put a bunch of money into it. And then, uh, put a $5 muffler on it. We call them cans. I know they're more than five bucks. They're probably like two or three hundred bucks, but. Well, they're called cans because the uh, they're about as big around as you know the average beer can. 
Yep. Well, I say average beer can because I don't know. I don't know how big beer cans are in the UK are. 60 cc is what that Ferrari is. Dang man. Okay, stubborn bolt is out. That's the last one. Now we can pull. Face should just come right off. You should. You guys ready for a shower? Make sure I ain't got any uh, plugs anywhere. Let's see what happens. There it goes. How to drain a radiator, 101. <laughs> yep. Oh, she's a bit oh, dirty in that there, bud. Oh, Oh, there it is. That's... Well... I'd, I'd say... Pick that up. Hold on. You got to close. Yep. Okay. So we're leaking. Thank you, sir. We are leaking right there. That is gross. It still spins. Teeth are pretty chewed up. Well, yeah, but look at the the uh, gasket is like it's gone. Flush. There's flush. That's actually below. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab the other one, and then we're gonna do a yep. comparison. Wow, dude. Um, should I put the gasket in the other one so we can do an actual comparison? Um, yeah, that'll be fine. I'm gonna do a wipe off of this one. So we can kind of see clear. I know you guys can't see anything right now, but we're going to do a comparison here in just a second. All I'm doing is wiping water off this water pump. <laughs> water off the water pump. <laughs> wow, man. That is gnarly. I'll have to clean the inside of that, too. That is grody. Ready for a comparison? Let's see? Okay, comparison shot. Okay. So, that, so that's what it does look like. And that's, that's what it's one. supposed to look like. But you notice... Oh, it's, I have it turned. You have it turned? Yep, you sure do. Notice how this sits up and above. It's rounded. This one up here, that's completely flush with the metal. That is why we had your leak, dude. Oh well, yeah, I'd say. So that's a good reason for a leak. Well, we can just stick this right down back in here. Yeah, you guys can see what that looks like. Wow, oh, that's grody. The gasket does just falls out because it's yep. not supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, like this motor mount real quick. So the reason we disappeared there for a second is right here, there's a hole. I wasn't really sure what that for, but it's sealed back behind. There's And yes, you're right, you. We got it just in time because it was about to go. Well, it already goed. I'd say, I'm the lamp on me, I say we pull that gas out. We don't yeah. use any of this anymore. No, nope, this is garbage. I'm trying to set you up where we can slide that. It's like it's all pushed under. Yeah, maybe right there might be a spot to do her. You have a knife on you? I do have my knife on me. I mean, we have to throw that away anyway. It's not like you're going to be worried about scratching it. No. Ooh, she's a bit uh, eh. thin there, boys. I'll hold that thing. Um, yeah, I would say this is probably toast. <laughs> Being that the gasket is supposed to fall out when you turn it upside down. And There's also rocks supposed in to be it. round. It's supposed to be round. There's no round to this at all. I mean, it doesn't even pretend to be round anymore. It was all literally right. just flush against the end, and that's yep. crazy. That would be why you had a leak. I mean, you look at it from the side profile, it's flat. Yeah. I need to be 
documenting this, but it's too We late. are documenting this. This is going to be going straight to my Facebook and my YouTube. Um, do you have a... Hold on, I have an idea. We have to scrape that well, pretty good. I was but saying, for right now, I'm going to take a rag to it and just see what needs to be scraped off. Before, we, just water. before we take a rag to it, we are going to take a rag and stick it in it. In it? In it. Why? Because you don't want those chunks in there. Whoa. What? What's going on with all that? You're just checking your followers. Oh, looks like you got there just in time. Yeah, that's the last thing you said. Yep. Okay, that goes in the core, yep. Okay, yep. That wasn't in very good, so my shove ran a little bit better. But yeah, Moon, you're right. We did just get there just in time. Get in a hole, guy. Oh, wait, there's no hole right there. That's because it comes up and through. Oh, there is a hole, but I can't get anything into it because it's a little tiny thing. It goes up this direction. Oh, okay. So we don't have to worry about that put one in the water pump cyclic hole the bad thing about all of this is the guy said that this was his daily driver yeah and uh, that he he let it sit for three days supposedly because it jumped time he tried to fix it and it couldn't do it and he was trying to sell it that's what he said speaking of it send a picture and be like hey man you sure this is your daily driver you didn't let it sit for a year and a half two years three years Today is this dude's day off, the guy we bought this car from. We thought that we got the, uh, the title from him, but it turned out all it was was a registration and the bill of sale. So he said that today's his day off. He was going to be going and getting the correct thing. And so, you know what I just noticed? Your crank's off one tooth. From time. timing. Yep. Well, that's not hard to fix. No, it's not. Especially because we can just go like yep. that. Okay, so before we get all squirrely and whirly with that, I'm going to absolutely do that. I'm going to move this because you're going to be in the way, guys. Something like that. I mean, we should be able can to you see? see? They can see rags, but I mean, once they move the rag, they should be able to see just fine. Can you see better? Yep. Just okay, I can't get it from down here. Um, what we got to do is we actually got to pull this off here, pull the timer belt off so that it's loose because we do not want to swap time again. again. We do not want it to jump. Okay, so that's loose. I'm going to crank just a hair a little bit. I'll tell you. It's literally just a... You turn it to the right left. Back. Yep. Timed. And then you just push this back down in there. Get it all nice and tight again. Bring this back up up here. Careful not to turn. That one's not turned. This one is not turned either. Isn't that weird how it always goes back so much harder than it does when you take it off especially when there's electrical cords in the way <laughs> yeah oh could you look at that looks like it's more difficult to put it back on it is Ooh. i don't know why i went like canadian yep, yep, yep. jumping yeah I pulled the wrong way sorry guys you just see my hand just day gum Who's a wing dinger? Send him, send him the link to the video after you get the title. Yep. Will do. Because that'll be a... Uh, Kick in the face. Yep. That'll be a... Oh, by the way, you, this was not your daily driver. This was probably a car you bought for a project car and realized you didn't know what you were doing. Yep. 
Okay. She's still tied over here? Yep, she's a... Is she? The hair off, but that's because that's just all... As long as it's not like a tooth and a half. No, you know, two we don't teeth. want to be a tooth at all. I'm just going to move this just a bit. She's not timed down there anymore, Dad. Yeah, no, but everything's off just the hair. Okay, she'll be fine then. Right there. That actually pulled the front one back in time. We can't have that on. Okay, so we need a razor blade now. A razor blade. tells you that this is his daily driver and yet all three, of the tires all four flat. tires lose air except for the spare which isn't even from this car yep which is funnily enough the spare tire is from a BMW and this is a Mazda which is supposed to have 15 inch rims on it but he put 17 inch wheels on it because they looked cool <laughs> well that's how most people Nowadays are about. You want to put this blade over there? That. Yep, a 17 inch tire looks so much cooler than a 15 inch tire. Oh, she's got some grime on there, but. Yep. They can't see it. Thing's gonna actually work with them being able to see anything I'm doing. If you can't see, sorry, I'm literally all I'm doing is scraping off the ogre bugger. The how many years you think it's been since this is replaced? Because I mean, it's well, still the stock OEM water pump. Yeah, I'm, so, uh, I'm 100 percent positive that's the OEM water pump. How many? How many years? 29 years since this car's had water pump replaced. Hmm. Man. Time. And the funny thing is that he wouldn't budge on the uh, 800 bucks because he knows what he's got. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, he he did have a rare car. Yeah. But the car booked for 200 bucks. Yeah. Strictly because it was considered a limit. Yep. I mean, it's so only, is the Miata. Well, it's only a lemon lemon because people want to use it as a racing. Look at that. That is grody. Hopefully it will focus on it. That was off just one side. I'm on focus. And yeah. you, I knew you can do it. There we go. Look at that grime. That's yummy. I wish my camera focused like that, dude. The camera that I use doesn't focus. No. Focus for squat. But then again, I mean, I do have it on focus on my face from where I sit, so. I can't get to it on that way. I gotta go old school. Your Just fingertips, you know? Yep, hold it with your fingertips and see how many times you can cut your finger off. And I know you won't be able to see any of it. I apologize for it. But there's well, some grime already. That's against TOS anyway, so. Say again? Term of service. If you if you have gore or anything on your stream and it's not a video game, you get uh, banned. Yeah. So don't cut yourself. I hope not. I just can't reach it. I would say um, I'd try it, but we have just about the same size arms, so it's not going to make a difference. Yep. Yeah. Man, there's no place for an intercooler. Three hours into it. Yep, you're right about that. Dude, there's gonna be no place for an intercooler in here. Hey, crazy, what's up, dude? Long time no chat with. We are replacing a water pump on my boy's 92 Mazda MX-3. Finally got the water pump off, like UK Moon just said. Three hours into it. Now I'm just scraping off the old dirt as best as I can reach. I know you can't see it, but I can't see it either, so I guess it's like uh It's a lose-lose. Yeah. 
getting grime off though, so I guess I'm doing the right thing. If I had a good solid wire brush, I could get in here and do it. But I think my wire brush that I have might be too big. And I really can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> What's that? I your wires are facing back and I try to flip around and stab your <laughs> finger, dude. Yep, just like getting a shot. Well, let's give her a go and see what happens. Yep. Put the razor blade in the magnet box. When we're done. Woo! Yep, very good. When we're done doing this. We'll have to make sure that we wipe out as good as we can. Yeah. And don't forget that there are two blue rags in your engine. That'd not, be bad. Not just one blue rag, two blue rags. Because that would that'd be bad to forget those. Yep. And we got to make sure when we pull it out that we get the entire rag out. Yeah. Versus just half. Because if we don't, we will be really rebuilding this engine sooner than what you want to. As in, like, within the first about... 20 minutes? Yep, maybe 20, maybe 22 minutes. I'm a little optimistic. I'll say 22 minutes. No, 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 no. I, I'm going to have to shoot for 30. Oh, man. This place it can't get in there. I might actually have to pop this time and build off on this side. Just because I can't reach into her. Before I do that, I'll go ahead and clean out everything else that I can. Hey, crazy! I don't know if you've done it yet or not, but go over to UK Moon's page and give him a follow if you would. Wicked cool dude, good friend of mine. Give me a lot of advice on this thing and many other things as well. Check them out if you would. And of course you can't forget Tombstone too. He's up there. I bet go check him out too. He's a pretty cool dude as well. Yeah, just I can't see what I'm doing here, guys. So get under. Can you? Uh, I can't see any of this underneath. Crank, say, crank pulls the noise. You know it's funny. It was saying that you had to pull the crank fully to change this water pump. That one video I watched, the guy, hmm. where he, he spends 15 minutes talking about how to do this. Then that must not be the water pump then, huh? I guess not, <laughs> I mean. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Oh, no, I'm sure, I'm sure. I mean, I understand, yeah, it's gonna make it easier, but you don't have to do it. Well, the thing about it, is his engine was sitting on a tire. He had pulled it out of the car. What? Yep. Pulled the engine out of the car. Granted, I would have done the same exact thing if I could have, because this is a pain in the butt, dude. But. Well, yeah, it, it is a pain in the butt. I, I will admit that, yeah. But. Good thing, though. Is now. We can say. Both you and I can say, yeah, I replaced a water pump on a 92 MX3. The stupid way. Yeah. <laughs> Got that right. What do you mean? We didn't pull the engine. Or right. anything else you were supposed to pull. We did it the dumb way. Yeah, we decided it. We Idahoed it. That's what we did. We Idahoed it. I only got one little section left, and that's over here in the corner. I can go ahead and take out this blue rag. Do you mind to make sure that's a complete blue rag? Yes, sir. Just answering a request. No worries. I need the light to move. Yeah. Can't confirm it is complete. A blue rag. That's good, that's good, that's good. What's your switch again? Say again? What's your switch again? Sun Surfer 1776. Any underscores? Nope. Oh, cool. She 
she's literally been like begging for it because she's like, I always follow new people when they come in and I'll do my best to watch their streams whenever I can. I'm like, well, that'd be very much appreciated. And whenever she gets on, if she does a follow or a comment or whatever, I automatically follow back. Just something I do. Yeah. Okay, it looks like I got pretty much everything off. Yeah. Then there's one more section in that corner. I just can't see it when I'm doing it. now the only part of grabbing this thing and starting, right? Well, we got a, yeah, there's a bunch of chunks in here we got to get out. You want another rag? Uh, yeah, please. Yeah, I do have the rag. Don't I didn't realize that. that. It's all good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull out this rag. Second the rag and I'll check it. Some confirm. Entire rag, please, and thank you. doing is just cleaning any of the booger booger that I got in there out guys I don't know if you can see it or not not really I don't think so I apologize for that okay visual inspection there's a little bit here in the corner I just can't quite get to there we go Come on. I'm gonna go old school style. Whoa. Put the light on. That on there. Come on, focus. I know you want to. Okay, so I'm gonna stick you guys upside down and backwards because I need to see a little bit better than what I can see. I feel like a doctor, right? Yep. Okay. That shows me nothing. Too close. <laughs> so that ain't gonna work. If you bend it up, and then no way it doesn't go down very far. No, it doesn't go down very far at all. No, it feels like that. Oh, that's better. Go down here. I just don't know which way I'm going. Completely reversed control. Yeah, everything is reversed. I say controls because it is though. Well, it looks a lot cleaner. The bottom looks like it's still pretty nasty. I think I need to clean it. Whoa, a bit more. Rotate you around where you can see. Okay. Hey, that sound is something. That was Bane Wolf. Hey, Bane. TJ said you were gonna follow. I thank you. When I'm done this, I'll follow you back, because that's just what I do. I'm worried. She was too excited that she got it. <laughs> well, say hello, people. Come on, you. And now, and now there's this. Yeah? She's a bit excited. That's good. So you can see TJ's car. Well... Part of it, at least. The dirty part. I'd love to have a wire brush on a on a drill, a wire wheel. Dude, that'd be nice. Yeah. My CDO is kicking in pretty heavy right now. Oop! I just kicked the thing trying to pop my knee. Still a little bit of dirt on that bottom part. Like I said, my CDO is kicking my tail right now. Okay. She said she'll be right back. She's gonna do something. I don't know why she's not typing in chat. She's watching. Maybe she's uh, shy. Eh, okay. So got that in there. Confirm my cloth is still 100%? Yes, it is. Okay. I do that because 
this is such like a, a joke was a serious thing. Yeah, it's absolutely very serious because any of these little chunks of of dirt or whatever will get in there, will fluctuate through, and probably get stuck in the radiator. Which small chunks are okay, not really, but they're better than large chunks of rag. And these blue rags don't break down very well, which is a good thing for when you're using them, but not a good thing if it gets stuck in your engine. So, uh, stand by one with that. I need to get some RTV. I'll be right back, guys. Bring her over here. Um, no, just one bolt. Probably top center would be good. I'm trying to set you guys up to where you can see what I'm going to do. Yeah, right here will work. This one's top center. Put that one's here. top center? Okay, so what I've got is i got some little gasket making stuff. What I'm going to do is to keep this in place, because obviously right now it just literally falls right out so I'm gonna put a little form of gasket in there I'm gonna hang that on something clean which is over there so oh come on I think that's why there's a hole there try not to pop it too bad Gator. Work smarter, not harder. Yep. I like to work harder, not smarter. It's the army in you. <laughs> yep. Okay. And expect basically. not to use that finger for a while. So this is what it looks like. The stickiest substance known to man. Yes, it is. So I'm just going to put it on the inside in little spots here and there. All this is going to do is just help the gaskets stay in place probably not doing it right compared to what a mechanic will tell you but again that mechanic could charge us two grand yep I think after we need to run our fingers in here to clean all that we found yep we will You don't have to put a whole lot because the gasket is going to be what actually seals this in place. Yeah, if we're trying to do this without a gasket, people would literally laugh in our face. What's funny because it is, wouldn't work. Yeah, exactly. What's funny is I've seen people try to do it. Really? Yeah. That's fun. Okay, so. Drain the gasket. It's right over here. Yeah, something clean. Say. Oh, there's a bit of goop in there, Chief. Yeah, that goop ain't going to hurt nothing, dude. Compared to the goop that was in there, it's nothing. Yep. So. Okay, that'll work for that. Do you need to clean your finger thingy? Um, a wheel. Trade Just you out. Squeeze out the dirt. Yep. Okay, so all I'm doing is just cleaning a little bit. The outside edge. Doesn't have to get it off completely. Just means you don't have anything that can cause a hole. Pretty much. Pretty much. Now you can, if you wanted to, if you were doing this on your own rig, you could run this whole outside lip with RTV all the way around. And even the inside one as well if you wanted to. Yeah. It'd just be like back up to a back up to a back up. But, in certain situations, it's not exactly what you want to do, simply because if it doesn't have a gasket on it from the factory, when you buy a new water pump, if it doesn't come with an external gasket, like this is an internal gasket, external would be out here. Yeah. If it doesn't come with an external gasket, then... Okay. I am. <laughs> for lunch because
because I want to get this done because we got to go up to Mill Clips work on that house here in a bit. I'd like to get this thing stabbed back in real quick. Okay. Yeah, we do not want to leave this open. Nope. Switching you out and about and around. Tucking you under. Right in the middle of nowhere where you can't see anything. Putting the gasket in now. I guess I should have shown that, but oh well. TJ setting you up, getting squared away with the audio visual. See, it, all it does is just act like basically it's, tape yeah. in a sense. Use that liquid tape stuff. This stuff never leak. Yep. <laughs> but you'd never get it off either. No, you wouldn't. The top of here. Yep. Okay, so. Mm, okay. Diving down in, trying to keep keep it as clean as possible without touching anything else. Can't see what I'm doing. Camera's in the way. Sorry, guys. Oh, close enough. It's a good look too. You still see plenty. What's up, Colonel? That's one of my buddies. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's in place. Top bolt, please, and thank you. Expect to be flooded by uh, all of my friends because uh, Kylie's mean like that. Oh, that's cool. I don't got a problem with that. If y'all are going to flood me, you got to follow me, right? <laughs> all right. Bolt number two. Uh, I'm just going to bring that from over here because I know they're positioning. Find yep. bolt number two. Uh, whichever one is next. I'm going to bring the old water pump because I know where they go. Alright. From here. Yep. Dirty. So, Colonel Fart, what's up, man? <laughs> I will. I do follow anybody that chats at me. So, cool beans. Thanks for checking out. I'll do it all later because right now I need to get this done. And I'm hungry because there's lunch inside. So we're going to get these bolts in and Tight. snug. Top right. Top Hard right. One. Hard one. Yeah. What's up? Thanks, Colonel, for the follow. I'll follow you back. I said I would do it. I would do it. Have you checked? Can they, can they hear you when you talk? Have you yes. That? Okay. I was going to say, because that's like a big thing that I was worried about. These are not getting torqued down yet. I don't know the torque specs, but I will find that out. Just getting them snug. Okay, next. Far bottom left. Far bottom left. Stinking time of belts in the way. That's that blacked out Chrysler, man. Yeah, I've seen one of those. Someone did a 1J swap on that. Really? Which is weird because you can fit like a 454 big block in there. Because the massive engine compartment. Yeah, so you go and put a four banger in it. Yeah. I think it's funny. That four banger can barely tow it around that car. Yeah. Cars are twice as much as mine is. Yeah. After you, when you start tightening the last bolt down, you'll look up torque specs. Yep. Which one are we at? This one. That one, all right. Back left invisible one. Back left invisible. We'll give you a follow as well. Yep. Thanks, Yuke, for following them. Carnal Fart, please follow UK Moon. Good buddy of mine. TJ talks with them off, often as well. well. Occasionally, I should say. Maybe not often. It looks like it's uh, galvanized steel, but I know it's not. Yep. Should be cast. This is that one that I just have such a hard time getting in. Did I get this one from the bottom? No, did I get it from the bottom? Like, did I stick it in there? I know my arm's right in your guys' eyeballs. Right in your peeper. Okay. 
that's interesting. I wonder if that was supposed to go there. I don't know what that's for. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I don't know the torque spec, so I'll get these snug. I don't even know. Let me get my torque wrench in. That's the bottom one here. I got a full size clicker torque wrench. Can you even see what I'm doing? No, I'm sorry about that. My mount is all kinds of buggered up. You're getting close. You have six viewers, Dad. So awesome. That was very awesome. Now I just got to get 50 followers and average of three, average of three viewers. And you can start making money. Make, make a dollar on this. Make a make a dollar. Make a dollar. But whoever follows me has got to follow you. And Rain Tree Biz. Oh yeah. And anybody else that's my buddy. <laughs> because that's just right. Alright guys, so that's snug. I'm going to go in and look up the torque specs. I'll be right back. Uh, do you want to... So I'll be right back guys. Don't go anywhere. Be right back. guys so lunch is done um so i'm gonna go eat i'm gonna set you up here i'm gonna leave the stream up simply because i don't want to have to worry about doing anything else this is my town not my town but anyway i'll be back in a few i'm taking my phone for the chat but it's time to eat so i'll be right back i don't take long i don't got teeth i just gotta swallow it whole
Okay. Oh. Alright guys, I'm back. Got more chips hanging. Had to have chips. So I am back. Oh, I can't. I gotta put my chips where I can reach them. What the heck, man? Oh, here we go. Right on the engine block. When in doubt, chips on the block. Okay. Let's see my chips. Leftover barbecue sauce. Alright, so I'm back. So, get back down in here. Make the most of the sunny days. Fingers crossed. Oh, man, I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. Whoa. Come on, focus. Okay, so there's the water pump. You can tell because it's the only shiny thing on the engine. Yeah. So I'm going to do the right thing, and I think I'm just going to swag on the on the torque specs. Yeah, we couldn't even find the torque specs. Nope. What, what, what torque is, on, is it on now? Um, I'm going to put it probably no chip through the end. No, not at all, man. These are special ones. <laughs> keep, keep in mind, it is an aluminum block. It is aluminum. I'm going to put it at 20 foot-pounds. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I'm probably already at 20 foot-pounds. Yeah, dude, the chips are great. And yes, I know you're not a dude. I just, I call everybody dude. I'm old school. At least I'm not calling you homie, right? <laughs> you're chief. You can call him chief. No, that's your word. You're the chief guy. I'm a dude, man, whatever you want to call them. And of course, yeah, I need a little baby extension. I don't have a little baby. Honestly? Post you some? I could probably do that, You? Yes, I really probably could. I didn't think about that. I stick it in the mailbox. I mean, it might... if you were to wrap up the bag, put it in a little flat rate box, you know? So yeah. They can, like, they can ship snacks. Yeah. Okay, I gotta move my light. My torque wrench is too big. Chips are gonna fall. Oh, that would be horrible. That'd be a waste of chips. Um, I'm gonna set them over here intake manifold. Well, that works. Farther on the intake I'm manifold. I'm it's not my intake manifold. It sounded like you said on your intake manifold. No, I said on the intake ah. manifold. Farther left, oh, right. Intake. Take that, please. Yep. My blue lightsaber. Okay, so I'm just trying to figure out where I'm gonna mount this light at to where I can get my. Who do wing dinger in there? I can, hold it. can you? Okay. Uh, right. You gotta watch out for my chips, man. Don't spill my chips. Ooh, like hot. Yeah. Might be a bit soggy. Yeah, just a wee bit. Do 20. I was gonna 20 say 20 scary, dude. Well, yeah, because I did not want to drop I, it down. I'd much prefer if you didn't strip my block, man. There's 10. I'm gonna go 12 foot pounds. Right. 12 ain't bad. 12's not much at all. It's probably already at 12. No, that's scary. Though. I'd just leave it. It's just right. it's your not. call, dude. Your car. Yeah, but I mean, neither of us have the money to replace it. Anymore. Well, I don't want to replace it. Yeah, but you can only heal the coil every time so many times. We're already clicked. We're at 12 pounds. It's just... I'm it's used I'm used to the loud click. Yeah. Oh, no. I think that's what I was waiting for, too. But then I felt it. When I went from 10 viewers to 5 viewers, that was pretty quick. <laughs> Honestly, that, that's what you're Ten viewers without a I've never had that many people watching. I think the only reason I didn't flip out is because I'm frustrated about this stinking thing getting in here. Okay, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna work. Forget the torquing. That's a horrible thing to say. I know, I know. Shut up. Guys, everybody, anybody? But I'm forgetting the torquing because I just can't get it in there. Okay. So I'm just going to get her snug. 
have to remember, like Cutie just said, this is an aluminum block. And I've already done one helicoil, and I don't want to do another. One time use. <laughs> Can't see, dude. Thank you much. Okay. Well, that one was a bit loose. Now yeah, just doing it nice and easy. You don't need a kung fu grip. It's not like you're tightening the pistons together. No. I'm not excited for doing a garage ring in place. I kind of am. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm not excited because that's going to be a pull of the engine. Oh, absolutely. Without an engine puller, and that engine is about, about a thousand pounds, maybe? Um, no, actually a whole lot lighter than that one sitting over there in the field. That's yeah. about 600 pounds. That's a... It's a Ford. Yeah, found on the road dead, 302. Speed bull honk donk. Nope, good. Still have the honk and donk. Four speed reverse. I'll be dead, as what's his face says. <laughs> okay, what's the kung fu grip? Oh man, the kung fu grip would be when you just like almost poop yourself, you're pulling so hard trying to get that thing just so tight that even Iron Man or the Hulk or whatever Superman couldn't pop that puppy loose. That's the Kung Fu Grip. You know that old song, everybody was Kung Fu fighting? Those guys. Okay. Oh, we gotta, we can't forget, we gotta do that. Um, the grenade. Okay, well that's not hard. I, I can start the grenade. Well, it's just putting it in the vise. Put it in the vise and slowly crank her down. Yeah, do you have a uh, Allen wrench? The Allen wrenches are in the bag right there. Uh, it's just whatever one will fit in it. It's a very small one. Yeah. I think probably the smallest one in there. Sounds painful. Oh, no, not really. You're just, basically, you grab a hold of it and just, and it can't go anymore, and you're shaking, and that's when you stop. That's the Kung Fu grip. You don't want to do that on this. Aluminum block, that causes things to break. This is actually a really good spot for the camera. Unfortunately, it's a little on the close side. So what I'm thinking about doing is obviously we got to stab all this stuff back together. What I'm thinking about doing is getting everything in place and put in, get the time belt tensioned up and everything before we put the engine mount on. As soon as we put that engine mount on, we lose all visibility, accessibility, and whatever other abilities you want to you got to go don't be sorry don't ever be sorry because you got to leave There's other things got to be done thanks for stopping by I'll follow you here in a bit just because that's what I do yes sir uh, Bane Wolf is I know your real name Bane Wolf but I'm not going to say it privacy issues and what not can't get this daggum light to sit in here. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate anybody who's been on here. Thank you. Had ten people for a minute. If you all watch us, I thank you. I really appreciate it. Never had that many people watch me. It's kind of weird. Maybe even a bit scary. Ten people are going, oh, this guy's an idiot. But, Yuke, I thank you so much for spending so much time. I know it's getting pretty late for you over there. Pretty near 10, 10 o'clock, I think. I forgot how scary this was. Yep. TJ then getting the grenade set, getting the pin locked. <laughs> I saw something that needs to be addressed real quick. Okay. 
Alrighty, so I think that's it. Are we still in time? Yep, we are still in time there. We're still in time there. I think we're still in time there because you just can't see it. Looks like it is. Everything looks good to go. I know those bolts are tight. We'll get the grenade in here. I'll have to reposition you for that. Got to take a top look for that. The grenade goes right under here. It's the tensioner. We call it the grenade because it's super scary. Is that a 12 millimeter on the grenade? Remember? Okay, so, you're here, that's cool, thank you, Yuke, I really appreciate it, man, I really do. Okay, so, now we are back under. Set for grenade installation? Yep. Yeah, oh, you have a piece of chunk, a little chunk of inner 550 cord to pull that? I do not. It is, uh, see oh, the yellow like, broom? Remember, time, last time it wasn't super bad, but. That's true, yeah, I probably don't need to. Just backing out a little bit. Yep. Okay. Bottom bolt. I'll stick up here with you. I have bottom here. I gotta set top in first. I gotta do it from down here. That's are we, always Are we nail polishing the bottom one again? Um, that is affirmative. Probably should nail polish the top one as well. Top of the, the box. Should be the left side. Yeah. I didn't know purple was your favorite shade of nail polish, man. I'm telling you, dude. Ain't no better way than purple. <laughs> That's right, I remember now. I can't see this hole from down here. You, I know I can't see your message, but I'm sure you do. Yes, we got the get surprised for the most chat. <laughs> I think so. I think you get the, the, the prize. She's open. I'm going to say... Actually, if you if you would whisper me your your address, I'll send you something eventually. I say eventually because I really don't know when it would be or what it would be. Right now I'm trying to find a hole that I can't find. Okay, i got to move you back a little bit. going from the bottom. Oh, yep. I remember now. Okay, so can you adjust the light just a bit for me, TJ? Uh, that'll work. I'm going to nail pause the second bolt. I need you to pull the tensioner up as far as you can with your hand. Oh, we gotta do this part again. Yep. The problem being is that now I can't see where the hole is. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, we had light underneath, remember? I don't. Sure, this left one was timed. Yep. Okay. I'm pulling it as hard as I can. You would have done.
done thought that this would have been pretty easy. To mean we've done it twice and all. Yeah. I think a dog just got hit by a car and it's running around. Huh. That's a bummer. I can't see it, dude. Do you want me to be down there and try to guide it? Um. I just have no access in here. Did, did I, have I mentioned lately that I absolutely despise sideways engines? Yep. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure. Not as much as you usually do. You're lucky you're my boy. <laughs> yeah. I think it might be in there, but I don't know. Um, when did that socket go? What socket? 12 millimeter. 12 mil? Mm, socket wrench and everything. I don't know where it went. Well, there's obvious proof that I wasn't in there. The whole thing just moved. Where did she go? I do not know. That's all right. I don't know either. This is the, the problem that we ran into last time. Is that you just, you can't see what you're going after. The people. Didn't we use the people? Maybe. I'll try it. I know you guys have to go to Moe Clips today. Um, depending on what time you all get back, we can do an oil change, right? Yeah. Because that would be the next thing you need to do. Pull on it. My lawnmower starting hand. <laughs> well, my go-kart starting hand. Yeah. Yep, yep. I have it in there, but I can't tell. I can't see because of the way I'm pulling. It's all right. Here comes the shakes. <laughs> that sucks so bad, dude. <laughs> it does, man. I mean, it's so much, so much room in here that I can't even get my whole entire hand up there. Dude, I love those engines. See, I'm 100% sure this is why the Miata is so much more popular than this car. Oh, yeah, because this would be in the front behind the radiator, which you can take off. And the front bumper. Yeah, also removable if need be. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. I think she started in the hole. The question is the tensioner little bu bumper thingy under there? The who? The tensioner, the grenade push pin. Yeah, the pin is still in place. No, the grenade or pushy part. The part of the grenade that pushes. Yeah. On the thingy. Yep. Okay, so she started. Saw you go. She dripped down. I don't care. It'll lock up. Yep. Okay, so this one got to go from the bottom again. Don't strip the little coil thingy. I'll try to. Please Ain't don't. no fun if you can't strip it out, right? I was just saying, please don't. Still see? Uh, no. No. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I just kind of.
kind of came out of nowhere. Sorry about that, everybody. I don't normally bust a butt in front of everybody in the world. Well, okay, yeah, I do. Um, trying to see. Uh, yep, yeah. okay, so it's in the holes. <sighs> now I just need to tighten them down here. Yep. Yeah. No, I'm gonna try to. Please don't, man. <laughs> I know it's just a joke and all, but man. Oh. See, what I don't understand is why that bottom one just sits there and spins and spins and spins. It's like it's been stripped, but not by me. in the right spot. only three hours trying to put a heat coil in. We're in five hours on this whole thing and that's not even that's not even bad. It's, people are saying this is a what like ten hour job? Yep, ten hour job. With the engine pulled supposedly. No, not with the engine pulled. You pulling a grenade pin? Yep, you wanna pull the pin? It doesn't seem as scary, but the first time we did it it was really loud and scary. Yep. Okay, so grenade is back in place. Okay, so now trying to pop them. Oh, look at that chips. Time to chip. Let's get the pulley on. And then cold start for the day. No we'll pull. What time is it? Two o'clock. Yeah, we probably should. So, you know, well, wait, we can do the rest of this later. Mm -hmm. So, I say we lower the engine back down enough. Dang, we have to, we can't. We gotta put an engine mount in. Okay. Alright. So, we gotta grab everything else then. then we'll yep. Okay, so. We were going to call it a day. What is that bolt for? Huh? What is that bolt for? That was you. No, oh, it's not. That's the uh, other pulley. Bottom top. Okay. Anyway, we were going to call it a day, but then we realized that we can't yet. And we can't because right now our engine hour, not mine. The engine is literally sitting on a a jack that leaks. And it doesn't leak onto the ground, but it does not. It leaks what's inside of it. Yep, yeah, it does not maintain pressure very long at all.
put an engine mount in, but we are not going to put the belts back on because I do think it would be a smart idea to go ahead and replace them simply because we have them out. And we can still read the part numbers. Exactly. Because, like, yeah, they take them in there. Hey, I need a 4K395, and they, I can't see the part number on them. Yep, that's what exactly it is. I need to do this, and I need to do that. Go into that, uh, cut rate auto parts. Go down there. Yep. You know, I'm honestly, I'm not expecting to be able to register this until at least the 5th, because that's when I get paid. Yeah. But, everyone will work saying, well, dude, you've been working a week without pay, so you're going to get three weeks of pay. That's going to be a hefty paycheck. And right now, everyone's making 14 an hour, and I'm like, what? Like, yeah, dude. Summer pay. We get 14 an hour. I'm like, what? Like, apparently, Mike, man, he wants that, he wants that pay. And I'm like, oh. That's fun. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I ain't going to complain, though. Nope. Everyone's like, dude, I'm kind of jealous. Your first paycheck's going to be like $1,000. I'm like, you think so? I'm like, dude, I know so. Because of when you came in, I know for a fact it's going to be at least $1,000. i am like, dude, don't get my hopes up. And they kind of laughed. And I'm like, that's a good thing about here that it's guaranteed pay if you're doing the cake job. Yep. Which I, I loved it, man. That's good. Couldn't ask for a better job. And the guys there, man, they make the work fun. See, that's what the whole thing about the jobs are is you got to have a job that you enjoy doing with people you enjoy working with. Well, because, like, yesterday, we had 20 minutes left in work, and Taylor, the manager there, he's like, you know what, go have some fun. And he told me, Jacob wasn't even working, he was there just riding carts for free. Engaged, we went around, we ran go-karts for 20 minutes. Nice. And we just rode them, because... Everything I just did really end it. Oh, with that one, doing a little tightener, loosener, tightener, loosener kind of thing. Yep. Trying. Oh, and from what I also bad weather's blowing in tomorrow. Yeah, bad weather for us too, Yuke. Where's that other rat hose connects? Here and then underneath there. Okay, I was just gonna say. Um, I thought it was right here, but it's gone. <laughs> Yes, I know there's a missing. You can't even see it, dang it. I'm sorry, guys. Can't even see the missing bolt. But we don't have it. Did do this one first, right? Um, yeah, yes. we did. So we will take top right. Top right. Top left. And bottom. It's an automatic. Yep. He tried to look cool. I, the only reason I called him out on the automatic was because. Means you never let off the throttle. Yep. It's not bad. The instant shift. I wonder if I probably. Yep. Yeah, of course. Well, did you screw it? Nope. What I did do is put the uh, pulley on when I still had to have it off. Because this bottom bolt here can't get to her. Hey, that, you hear that sound in the background? That is a guy on a skateboard using leaf blowers. Yeah, I seen that the other day. You got two today or only one? Two. Yep. That's genius. Yep. Rides around town, back and forth to work on a skateboard with one, sometimes two leaf blowers. Dude is genius. 
I've never thought of that. I always thought it'd be kind of like, I, I thought it'd be kind of cool, but I mean, just skating on them? Yeah. Bolt one. These ones don't matter which way they go, they're all the same. Mm. Mm. Bolt two. I think I could fit a V10 in here. Not sure, why not? It'll fit in the back. Yeah, it would fit in the back. Direct to the tires? Yeah. Popping wheelies in sixth gear? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine, though? Number one, getting your hands on a V10 for less than like 30 grand is going to suck. Because <laughs> number one, you're probably getting the block. Bolt three in there. Now we go with this. And look at there, we can actually get the bolt in. The fun part. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I struggle with this stupid bolt 400 hours, I'm going to get back in. I'm going to clean it off a little bit. Yep, I'll probably end up using that too. I just want to see what a rag will do. Oh, rag got to clean. This shit. Yep. And that just tells you that it's that 30 yard grime, just the dusty there. Yeah. Same horse tires as Ferrari. I don't know, man. That Ferrari, it's got the it's got the aerodynamics and the. Did you see the aftermarket steering wheel, man? <laughs> There's at least 10 grand in that car. At least. Not even not even counting any engine parts. That's what talking about. <laughs> and the rims, man. Fancy, fancy Ferrari wheels, you know? Just racing tires and everything. You know, I keep forgetting about my chips until I look up. Oh, grease chips, yes. chips are good. Yep, brake fluid and power steering and oil. Yep. And radiator fluid and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's why you never see a mechanic sit. Nope. The paint double and cost a bomb, yeah. Mm. Did I ever tell you that the average horse ever actually has like five to ten horsepower? Makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. 14. What you need? 14. You have it. I have it. I don't have the 14. Hmm. So, uh, you fun fact about people that work at Ferrari factories, they're not allowed to own Ferrari vehicles. Really? If you work for Ferrari, you're not allowed to own one. I wonder why. I don't know. And it, it's all confidential. That's it. Just the fact that you're not allowed to own one is all I know. Hmm. Interesting. So you, unfortunately, brother, you cannot work at Ferrari. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably true, too. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. I'd probably make a minimum wage. Is there a minimum wage in other countries? Uh -huh. Is there a minimum wage there in London? Or is it all salary? Like, like, you just get, like, a monthly paycheck guaranteed kind of thing. That's a very good question. That's going to be confusing when I go over to Japan, man. How many yen do I make a month? Four. <laughs> okay, you know what? I will be sending you a one yen coin, though. I think it'd be so cool to have that. literally a worthless piece of metal. <laughs> yeah, $13. Okay. That's probably, what, about close to 15 U.S.? Yeah, what's the exchange? Less is more, kind of thing? Less there is more here? No, less here is more there. No. We pay more. To equal what they have. Their, yeah, their pound sterling 
is worth more than our dollar. Ratchet, we had 14 ratchet wrench or 916 ratchet. Right. All right. Now, if I can move you guys around, that's like a that's a pacer. That huh? natural body sound that was a pacer. It's it's on. We're cruising. You see? Yeah, you can see. Yeah. Hey now, hey now you. Well. You lost your groove. I didn't lose my groove. It's that oil stick. It's with the little oil stick. There it is. I wonder if I can reach her from under here. You know what? You're gonna sit, you're sitting in the timeout. <laughs> Socket being bad, do you? Yeah. I might end up having to bend this puppy over. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was just gonna say, huh? Maybe with a little bit of heat, I could bend her over. Can't be tight if it's liquid. No. Take the extension off. I don't know why I didn't think that. Oh, there's that tea bucket thing. True box. Oh, uh, yep. Dang. I always notice them right as they get to the bushes. Yeah, right when you can't see them no more. Tell you what, man. That's one of the few, like, American muscle cars that won't be an older, like, a really old tea bucket. With just, like, a tune to the T350, you know? 900 horsepower to the wheels kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if that's going to fit on. No. Nope. A little bit bigger than 17. You got a 19 millimeter. That's already heated. Donkey right. smell. I'm cheating a bit. I uh, don't know. You can't see it, but I got this on the end of my ratchet here. Just checked off a 9. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's. Our money's worth even less now. <laughs> so is it called, is it a quid? That's slang. I found that out. Like we say buck yes. for a dollar, a quid is slang for their pound. Okay. I'm right, correct, Moon? I think that's what we talked about a while back. Oh, it's not even touching yet, dude. Okay. Oh, that would have, could have hurt. Yep, it did hurt. Nice. What'd you hit? I don't know, but I gotta razor it off real quick. Uh, would we be doing a medican thing? Um, probably should. I just gooshed. I got my finger stuck right here. Can't even see it. Yep. So I got my finger stuck between the wrench and right here. Making me bleed. And I don't want to goosh it full. So, TJ ran in to grab a band-aid for me. So yeah, right here, between that wrench, got a hold of me. Fun. Yep. Yeah. You're going to need to clean 
clean it. So yeah. you'll need monkey blood right there. Probably have to throw tape on the band aid because it won't stay. It's almost right on the tip of the finger. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't too bad. Sir. Yep. And then I'll go and clean up the medicine thing. Alright guys. So I'll bandage it up. I'll show you what I did basically. Basically if you can imagine this little corner right here. I decided to just go rip it right off of there. That's fun. So okay. So back to what we we're doing. We gotta get it done. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm pretty glad I learned all this stuff as a kid, man. Well, we lived in the bush. You had to learn it. Field dressing, man. It's not yeah. the one that you have to do it, but it's fun like that you know it, you know? Yep, exactly. Okay, so. Working with the throbbing fingers. Always tons of fun. Yep. I gotta show you, gotta show you, gotta show you. Sorry. <laughs> That's just so cool. That's like level 400 genius right there. So where'd you get stuck? Between the wrench and this little lip right here on the dipstick. Oh, okay. So don't do it again. I'm trying to not do that for sure. Excuse me. I had to drink a coffee. Oh, so it's like this. And, oh, okay. Yep. This bolt just one of them ones that. She's a squealer. Yep. Honestly, the thing that didn't make me any faster at doing that emergency dressing is I was just sit down and memorize where everything is in that box. Oh, Ben, yeah. yeah. You did good. Thank you, dude. Yep. Honestly, I'm sure because of that, because you raised, you raised me like that, being able to do emergency dressings and all this other stuff, field dressing, all that, it's probably why I think it'd be cool to be a combat medic in the Army. Yeah. Because, you know, raised doing that stuff. Yep, literally. I can't see nothing again because I keep bumping it with my arm. Did you tighten them up or you just tighten them all down now? Leap Bro Man is cool, dude. Yeah, I'm just tightening them up. Absolutely, brother. If I had a goal in life about being a skater I would absolutely want to be that skater forget Tony Hawk forget all the other guys that are famous I want to be the leaf blower skater dude <laughs> imagine being after a skate park <laughs> that's 
funny. Uh, we're getting tighter. But, not yet. I just want to make sure I'm not trying to strip her out. Because that's no good. Almost there. Yep, she's getting tight now. I'm just getting the bottom one, get it tight too. The only reason it's such a hard mm. thing to do is because it's the engine mount. It's meant to be strong. Yep. Well, that and you don't really have any kind of access to it. You know, funnily enough, the Miata engine mounts are rubber. Yeah. Well, these are rubber centered. Yeah, but I'm meaning like it's literally a rubber brick. Yeah. And then that is the only connection. Yep. And because the video I was watching okay. was like, oh, water pump replacement, air, engine mounts, and everything else. I'm like, oh, okay. And then... It's a Miata. Uh, yeah. I mean, dude, if I had a Miata, bro... We'd be done, like, been four done. weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. I probably would have had a Miata in my car already, just like I wanted to offer that guy money over there for his car, his Miata. Yeah. I probably would make it a sleeper Miata. Paint it this kind of black. This is an OEM. Yeah. Yeah, see, before I had my finger stuck right in there. And I just went quick and there it goes. Just being ready. Yep. Now I have my fingers yes, out of the way. Man, I wonder how many people at Mazda did this and literally cursed people's name. Yeah. Probably more than one or it's twelve. Like I probably would have. I'm not ready yet. I'm just giving the back a break and having a chip. Well, I'm just going to... Hard to do with the throbbing finger, you know? Yeah. Mm. I'm just getting it ready. You know? Mm-hmm. I got you. I believe you're correct. Okay, so I'll be back up over here. Let's cover for vibration. I don't know if you can see where I'm going to be. Okay, this is right side back side back side okay. yep because back and front okay i'm gonna sit them like that and move the extension move the radiator back side all right ready for the part i'm gonna set you down here i think you can see right here right yep okay Actually, a lot higher than I thought it was. I gotta lower it a bit. Okay, so be ready with that jabber in a hole. I can lower a good amount, and then I'll try to shut it off to bring it back up if need be. Ready? Yeah. Watch fingers. Mm hmm. It ain't fun. Wait, this isn't gonna do anything, Dad. Because the engine's going to droop because it's not secured, but go ahead. You're still going to do something. Go ahead. That's perfect speed. Hold on. Down more, please. Uh, hold, maybe. Yeah, you're good. Literally, it's at the right, right at the end. There you go. And on beer number four, New World, New World, size and 
six and a half percent. Oh, okay, okay. Beer number four, you must be taking your time today, huh? There you go. All we gotta do is tighten it. That's the big one, I think. Yep, yeah, I'm right. Here's the big one. I'm gonna move this razor. This is trying to get it. It's trying to. Okay, 17 millimeter. That'd be the skinny one over here, the cheap pile of junk one. Where? No, uh, 17 millimeter. This one. Yep. This is what you meant by skinny. Yep, skinny cheesy compared to the other one. Full on made in China brand right there. Gotcha. Hey, Tombstone, I thought you were gone, dude. Welcome back if you were gone. Oh, we got this all kinds of buggered up, don't we? Yeah. I gotta redo my mount. I mean, it's not supposed thing. to be an engine mount, though. Yeah. Tombstone's head mount. You heading out, dude? All right, man. Thanks for watching again. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. As always, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great rest of your day. We're just going to button this mount up so we can make sure we don't lose it on the stand. We got we to gotta head out here as soon as we're done with this. And uh, go up and see about a house. I'm a kind of a handyman occasionally. Somebody's asking if I can uh, look at their deck. Here's how I drag. Hey, no worries, man. No worries. So as soon as I get this mount on and tight, I got this bolt tight, and then two more right here. You can see them bottom of your screen. Once I get those in place, we're out of here anyway for the day. I'll probably be back in tomorrow finish this up come on let me go let me go but once again thanks for watching anybody that's watching I really appreciate it thank you so much this is going to be going on YouTube which is why there's no tunes in the background because there literally is only one other Mazda MX3 1.8 liter water pump replacement video and the guy doesn't even show you how to do it. Nothing against the guy. But, yeah. He doesn't even show you how to do it. Sits there and talks with his buddy and watches his buddy clean off the engine because it's not sitting in the car. Good thing, though, it's not staring. Yeah. Bad thing is... Pain in the butt to get on there. <clears throat> We're parking here tight, dude. Well, so, so all we really need to do okay. now is get this part on. The pulley part. Pulley and this. Yeah. So we can we can tighten the engine mounts down. Yeah. I say we tighten the en engine mounts down. We throw that little pulley cover thingy on there, and you can you can leave. front. No. Yeah. Front. Because you do need to go. Just so you and Mom need to head out. Yep. Back. And back. One goes there. One goes there. Four hours twenty. Dang. Yep. Hat <laughs> four twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I know it's not really that so funny. It's pretty funny, man. I gotta jack up a little bit because our pressure is not quite right. Let me know. What are you looking for? It just wouldn't spin on because it was sitting up against oh, here. Okay. How much size is it? I believe this is the 17. I believe so. No, it's not the 17. It's probably 15. Move you guys back again. Nancy, she's been getting serrated from all the banging today. Yeah. Nice. Not extension too. Yeah, it is gonna be this one. Look at that. That's right. Uh, but I'm starting to drip, so. <laughs> Your blood? Yeah, a little bit. So we need to hurry. Oh. Did she feel?
little bit now. Oh, I want them to talk about. I need the, the deep well. It's right there. That's what I remembered. Oh, yeah, it feels glorious. So is this going to be one of those things of tighten it and then drop the engine support and make sure it's, it's good kind of thing? Yep. Get that tight. That one tight, okay. Wrench it right here. Goes really easy on it and slowly back it off. The engine will drop a bit. Say again? Yep. She down. Yeah. <laughs> That was the car, not the engine. You can pull that out or that stand completely out. Man, that's wonderful. Good. Yeah, it's just it's at that throb point, you know. Heartbeat every second. Yep. You know what? Your body does it because it's pumping blood to the area. Yep. Got her out of there. Yeah. All right. So I grabbed the pulley. I don't even know. Do we need to do that right now? Um, you literally, you have, you got it, you got that go. What time is it? Almost three. Almost three. I guess, yeah, we actually probably should. We can, we can do this later. We know where everything goes. Yep, okay. Go ahead and stick those in. We'll take everything inside. All right, guys, so this will be end of stream number two. Thank you, Uke, Tombstone, everybody else that showed up. Thank you so much. I appreciate it more than you would ever know. This is going to go on YouTube because of the fact that, like I said, there's no, there's nothing on there. And I know this is not the only engine. Let me take it in. So, no, in here, dude. No, 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 you meant in. No, in on the bench. Um, so, yeah, thanks again for watching. I really absolutely appreciate it more than you guys know. Um. I'll be back on probably tomorrow to button this all back up. If not tomorrow on this, I'll be doing some more woodworking or something, depending on my finger. So, thanks again for watching. Y'all have a great rest of your day. God bless. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks again for watching. Have a great one, guys. God bless.